Good morning, uh, Laurent Le Boucher, Group CTO in Orange. And Matt Carlson, heading up uh, BSS and OSS within Ericsson. Before talking about uh, technology, I think uh, we need to be uh, really, really focused on value. Uh, speaking about uh, BSS and OSS, it's clearly about both top line and efficiency. So top line, uh, we need to make sure that uh, we can really transform ourselves into a platform. So a lot of implication uh, below uh, below the hood and uh, in order to transform our network and IT uh, really to get the good level of automation to provide on-demand services, network on-demand. Speaking also uh, on the BSS, of course, we will need also to address in real time new uh, revenue opportunities, but also at the same time cope with a quite complex legacy uh, implementation that we have in our different environments. I think it's a bit coming back to what Laurent said. One is that network is getting more and more complex and we need to manage and master that complexity. So I think OSS needs really to make sure that you can run, operate, create services in a much more efficient way to handle the complexity. The other one is really about, I, I think, it needs to be super simple to create new services, to make them available through APIs or through other models to the users of the services. And obviously, with the introduction of 5D Stand alone, I think that is, of course, open up a lot of new services related to differentiated connectivity, but they need to be simple to use, they need to be simple to consume. We are uh, now uh, starting our uh, API business in uh, Europe, uh, starting with Spain and France. And we have started to uh, expose uh, commercially uh, the identity-related uh, open APIs, uh, so the APIs from Camera. At the same time, uh, we are a uh, very strong supporter of uh, the new uh, JV, NUCO, uh, together with Ericsson and other large operators. We believe that uh, it is a way to scale uh, the capacity and, and really scale uh, the business because we have to be very simple in the way we uh, uh, provide our network connectivity to developers. So this is really the, the goal, to scale it uh, transversely and, and make it a very simple set of API that works across the different operators at scales and across the different continents. I think it's really around three areas. One is that I think it will have a dramatic impact on our internal processes like for R&D or development and for service delivery. The other one, which I think we're also showing down here in, in the summit, is around the interaction with our products using Gen AI. I mean, I, I, think, I think at some point in time we talked about low code or menu system, but I think people will expect to have a more conversational interaction with our products and our systems. I'll say. And I think the third aspect that has been heavily also discussed down here is that I think Gen AI will also actually create a different pattern and increase the usage of uh, traffic in a mobile network, so to say. It will create a lot of more uplink traffic, uplink traffic with also low latency, etc. So I think it will have a dramatic impact both on our processes, how we interact with our products and also how the network uh, will need to dimension in the future. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.